Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Crown of the Sunken King. I think it's time to fight a dragon or something very large. It's probably a dragon. And given that I given that I suspect this is the very end of the DLC, I'm hoping it's not, but I suspect it is. So I'm hoping it's going to be really difficult and epic. So, here we go. Through the mist. What will we find? Will it be dragon? Oh, this is so a dragon fight. Weaken his tail and then try close range of battle. Oh yeah, it's a dragon fight. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna come stomping down any minute, I know it. This is a very large battle arena. Which I suppose is appropriate because it's probably a very large dragon. Oh yeah, here we go. The slumbering dragon. Well, it's not slumbering anymore. Okay, those are destructible. And I just went the wrong way. Whoopsie. Okay, weakness tail. I'm going to try going for the tail. It's going to breathe fire down on me, isn't it? Yep. I don't know what the hell that is, but I probably shouldn't stand in it. Damn! Destroying the entire environment. Now's my chance. Or maybe not. How the fuck can I go for that thing's tail? Fuck the tail. I'm going for the head. I wanted to try stomping on me, because that I can avoid pretty easily. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Alright, at least it... Okay, I was going to say it stopped doing that. Well, never mind. It really does not like it when I get close to it. That thing has a lot of health. Tail. Tail. I'm gonna unhook. Unhook. Ow. I just undid my Estus. Let's try that again. Good aim. Yeah, fuck your tail. I don't know why that wasn't two-handed. That should have been two-handed. Damn it. I'm assuming its tail's gonna fall off. Like I can cut it off. I'm assuming. I'm hoping. There is an item over there, too. I'm kind of curious what it is. Let's go find out. Oh, it's a ring! I would like to read its stats, but now is not the time. Oh, man, I even dodged it, but it wasn't enough. Damn it. Wait a minute. 
It's about to break? What the fuck? How is my halberd about to break? What about my other equipment? How's it doing? Can't really look. I know I started with my halberd fully repaired, right? Didn't I? I must have. Didn't I rest at the bonfire? Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Well, at least we get to read the ring. Well, I definitely don't need, don't need the cat ring, so let's go... Find this new ring. Sometimes deflects spells. Hmm, the ring of Sir Yorg, who sought the blood of a dragon and invaded Shulva, can deflect spells. When Sir Yorg faced Sin, the slumbering dragon, he drew blood with a flash of his steel, but Sin responded by spewing forth the poison that had long brewed within him, blanketing the city in a miasmic cloud. Well, when it breathes fire on me, does that count as a spell? I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't, but, uh, eh, what the hell? Let's give it a shot. I don't believe there's anything else in the environment I could use. Alright, let's wake it up. Should I even bother going for its fucking tail? I really don't know. If I go for its head though, I mean, look at how much damage I just did to it. It's gonna take like, a hundred hits. Jesus! Okay, trying to jump does not work. It should protect me, right? Oh no, of course it doesn't! Why would the Pillar of Stone protect you from fire? That would make too much sense. Because as we all know, fire can pass right through stone. I guess it's magic fire. And I'm pretty sure this ring don't do shit. I do. I'll be around, if you make it back. Alright, well I don't know if it's worth it, but I'm gonna keep going for the tail. And let's change this ring out for my life ring. Well, this does indeed seem to be a worthy foe. I'm really surprised they put the bonfire so close to it. I mean, normally you have to go through a bunch of enemies to get to a boss, but in this case, it's right in front of it. Keep moving and then close range to battle. Listen carefully, lightning. What? Lightning, what the hell are you talking about? What are you smoking, man? Boss ahead. Be wary of friend, in short, boss ahead.
Eh, just his tail and then try close range battle. Alright, now I'm gonna keep going for its tail. Rawr, rawr, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, present your tail to me, thank you. And I proceed to miss. He's got a sword in it. You know, I don't actually know what I'm getting poisoned with here. Is it poison? Jesus. I mean, it's coming from the fire. I, I think it's just poison, given what the ring said. Tail? Tail? Ah. There we go. I got one hit on its tail. Oh god. Oh! Oh well. Yeah, I'm gonna stay unlocked. dodge, but it, I, I don't know, wasn't, wasn't a good enough dodge, I guess. I guess I'll just whack him. Okay, okay, that was actually really, really good. Oh, I got smushed. And I got clawed. Alright, fuck off, go in the air. That actually works really well. Yeah, maybe I should just forget about the tail. Oh, damn it. Two attacks, alright. Whoa, that's an interesting one. I'm gonna go for your tail now. Oh, what the fuck? It's gonna break! It broke! What the fuck? I haven't been looking at its durability. Is this thing just, like, made of fucking adamantium? Or is it when I go for the tail? Well, I'm fucked now. I, there's no way I can win this. There's no fucking way! I don't know. He's having a dance in the background, I guess. Uh, sure, sure. Well, what could go wrong with this weapon that I can't wield effectively? I don't even know what stats it needs, so I can't even use like a bomb to try to get the stats. And anyway, there's no way I'm gonna win now. That was a pathetic thrust. I think if you can't wield a weapon effectively, it does like two damage. Ow. Sweet release. Yeah, why in the fuck does my halberd keep breaking? 
At this rate, I'm going to have to wear the ring that um, slows my equipment degradation, which, you know what? May I'm just going to do that. That or I'm going to have to buy a second halberd somewhere. I don't know if I've ever seen a second halberd and upgrade it to plus 10 as well. I don't have a decent backup weapon. I've, like, basically never used a weapon other than this thing. But yeah, you know what? I don't think it's worth it going for the tail. Because if I can if I can get it to do that um, flame thing to the side, I can get a good four hits on it. It really actually doesn't seem all that hard now. I... I'll be around if you make it back. I don't suppose you do sell a halberd, do you? Battle axe looks kind of like a halberd. I mean, a halberd is kind of like an axe plus a what is it? It's like a combination axe plus spear, pull arm, something. It's like a combination weapon. It's like an axe on a very big stick, basically. It's pretty much it. Don't waste my time. All right, uh, let's put that ring on. Just gotta find it. Oh, it's a bracing knuckle ring. It's a plus two, which means it should do a pretty damn good job, too. I've never really tested it before, though, so I'm not sure whether it makes my, you know, equipment degradation like half of what it was before, or, or what. I kinda wanna just test out what is making it degrade so fast. Like, forget even trying to win. Is it the tail? Okay, I don't think I'm forgetting anything, am I? No. Even all the other halberds that I've, like, found have completely different stat requirements to my current one, so I can't just, like, get a different kind of halberd and be fine. Some of them require more dexterity, or more strength. Come on, do your side-to-side -side flame thing. Oh, oh, I thought that was going to be it. It's not. Okay, I'm looking at the durability. It is going down really fast. Why is it going down so fucking fast? Holy shit, I'm gonna need a backup weapon. What the fuck? I'm gonna need to use repair powder during the fight. Which I'm gonna need to put on my belt and I don't have it on it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose just to weapon, uh, weapon durability. Oh, come on. What did the fucking air around him hit me? Bullshit! Hacks. I call hacks. Fucking hacker. Hacker dragon. Ban. Ban. Vac ban. Aww. I gotta solve this weapon problem. Using repair powder is very expensive and finite. That's not a very permanent way of beating this boss. But, I mean, I don't really use it otherwise, so whatever. Bright bug would increase my damage. Yeah, I suppose I can give that a shot. Okay, um, I don't want too many things on my list here. It's gonna be a bitch to cycle through. But I kinda wanna keep them there, because otherwise it's gonna be really, really difficult to access them. Alright, how many repair powders do I have? I think I got a bunch. Yeah, I got seven of them. Okay. 
I also want to take dry root. Um, it doesn't restore much health, but as someone told me, uh, apparently the effects actually stack. So if you take a bunch of them, you'll restore more health. And it's for a very long period of time, like pretty much for the entire boss fight. So... Actually, let's flip these around. Yeah, I want my last one to be... Repair Powder, so I can go all the way to the Repair Powder, use it, and then go back to my Estus. Okay. Also, my ring is broken. So if I don't want to lose my souls, I should probably switch that out. Of course, while I'm switching between these on my D-pad, uh, since my D-pad is... What's the word? Um, faulty. Since my D-pad is faulty, it's going to end up switching my weapon while I switch this. Like that. I'm pressing down right now, by the way, but uh, my D-pad is a douchebag. And thinks I'm pressing right. I'm watching myself press it, and I'm, I'm visibly pressing only down. Fuck you, D-pad. I hate you. Fuck him. Anyway. So, let's take... Um... I'm judging my confidence in defeating this boss right now. So how many do I want to take? Because if I'm absolutely confident, I would take all of them. Let's take two. Might as well go for its tail if it's available. Aww. Damn it! Yeah, my god, those roots are restoring barely any health. I want it. I want to trigger its damn shoot flame in me while on the ground thing, but it's really hard to get it to do that because that's when it's most vulnerable. Oh no! Oh, jump out! Jump out, motherfucker! See that? That's what I wanted to trigger. Toxic. Oh shit. Oh my god, fuck this. Just fucking kill me. Ah! Yeah, that dried root, man, over time I'm sure it makes a difference, but... When you need health and you look up at your bar and you see it, like, trickling over, like, blip, 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 it's like, fuck that. And now they're both broken. Got a feeling I'm gonna be popping some souls. I've always pictured the souls, the way you kind of like crush them in your hand as being like... I knew you. Like eggs or something. You kind of just like squeeze them and then the soul juice runs down your fingers after they pop. Mmm, soul juice. I'll be around if you make it back. I've only got one poison moss left. 
Uh, if I get poison in the, uh, poison near the end and, you know, I'm like out of Estus, that's going to be a problem. So let me actually replace that with uh, Dragon Charm. Yeah, cures poison and greatly restores HP. There we go. Yeah, that'll be fine. And there's still the Elizabeth Mushroom. You know, fuck it, I'm gonna try the Elizabeth Mushroom, because I, I think I've only gotten like two in the entire game and I've never used them. I'll use a couple dried roots. And let's try the Elizabeth Mushroom. It's supposed to greatly restore HP over a long period of time, I think. Give it a shot. I'm shoving so many things in my body. Drugs. What am I, a witcher? Oh, wow, that actually does restore a lot of HP. Look at that. Oh, no, not into the fucking cloud of doom. Fuck. Oh, yeah, I have a fucking prayer right there. Okay, takes a while. Now I know. Oh, yes, 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 now's the time. trying to figure out how to trigger its flame thing. Fucking claw. Never see it coming. Oh. Man, I guess I was doing exceptionally good that one time, because I thought this wouldn't be too hard. When I, after I got it down to like half health, but... Not so much. I think the effects of the Elizabeth Mushroom wore off, though. Yeah, and now I know the Dragon Charm is <laughs> not a quick fix. Jesus, that, take, that, took, that took way too long. I, no. Monastery Charm. I'm assuming all the charms are going to have the same sort of lengthy thing. Do I have anything else? God, I've got so many items. Temporarily boosts luck. It, completely irrelevant here, but you know what? I could use some luck. Do I have anything else like here's poison at all? Boosts poison resist, that's nice. The problem, I mean, all this stuff doesn't really, like, almost none of it lasts very long. We're talking like, what, 30 seconds to a minute or something? Like, it's not really worth bothering with in a boss fight that's gonna last 10 minutes. The danger you put yourself under simply by using it is probably more than the danger of not using it. Yeah, I mean... 
I guess it's better than nothing. I've got too many things here. Fuck the Radiant Life Gems, those are bad. Even the old Radiant Life Gems aren't that good. Okay, let's try the dried root. Should last for the entire fight. And I guess I'll try the bright bug. I don't even know if I'm gonna get to hit him. Damn it. Its weakest point is definitely the back of its body, but it's really hard to get behind it. Please don't dive bomb me. Okay, I wasn't looking at it. It's starting to leave its gunk everywhere. I wonder if that disappears after a time. I love the way it swoops around on the ground. It's very cool looking. Ah! have any stamina, motherfucker. Oh yes, do that again, please. Going for a sale. Okay, I'm doing some seriously good damn- Oh, what the fuck was that? Never seen that attack before. That's new. Get away from me. What, what are you doing? Its attack patterns might be changing or something. Oh shit! Oh fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm aware I'm toxic, I'm aware. Fuck it. Forget the toxicity. I need to repair my stuff. No, I skipped past it, fucking D-pad. Damn it, I was already on it. Fuck. Fucking D-pad. Oh shit. I'm dead. I went to the fucking Radiant Life Gems instead of the other thing. God damn it. <sighs> Hi, D-pad. Do you know what I think of you? I was actually going really well. Do I need to repair my shit again? I do. Oh. Okay, well, it looks like I can get away with only using one repair powder.
Looks like that should give me plenty of durability. That combined with my reducing the equipment degradation rate ring should be more than enough. I knew you. I wish I could buy some more moss. I'll be around if you make it. Back. I want a lot of moss. I don't even remember where I got it from. I feel like I've got too many items here. Alright, fuck the Elizabeth Mushroom. Do I want to fuck the Dragon Charms? Well, I don't really want to have sex with them, but do I want them gone? Um, one Radiant Life Gem, that's not worth it. Okay, let's clean it up. Let's get less here. Taking the arrows out has no effect. I don't believe they weigh anything. But... Hmm. I kind of need these. I do need an alternate healing source, just in case. I mean, I can make the dragon charms work, maybe. Maybe. I do kind of want to leave them up there. Alright, it's a little bit more streamlined. Here we go. Oh, I didn't realize you were attacking. What the hell? I just teleported. Aha! I was in your belly. Or under your belly, rather. Although I think I've been inside of the dragon's belly many, many times. That's just the part you see off camera. Oh, I was too early. Oh shit, I went to the toxic cloud. How did that not hurt me? Fuck, I can't even get behind it without getting toxified. I'm gonna move. Damn it! Thing's got some range. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. I think I should wear a ring of poison resistance. But what do I replace? I'm not getting rid of the second dragon ring, and that thing is amazing. Really, the bracing knuckle ring is the only thing. It's gonna take a lot of repair powder, though, I think, too. Alright, I think I've gotta do it. What's the best one I have? I think it's Poison Bite... <clears throat> poison Bite Ring plus one. Mm-hmm. Okay. I've got one more try at this with two dried roots.
You know what? I'm just going to use all three. Screw it. Also, I've got something stuck in my throat. So I'm going to drink water while running out of dragon. Oh, man. I always forget about that attack. It's so large that it's really hard to tell exactly what it's doing at any one moment. Because large parts of its body are just... hidden. Motherfucker. Well, the poison bite ring is definitely working. No doubt about that. Oh, 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 oh. Come on! Just a little back blast from the flame. Also, I still have something stuck in my throat. God damn it. Not a good time, throat! <clears throat> Yeah, this poison bite ring is definitely helping. Damn, oh really, that's... wow. At least I hit its wing once. That was terrible. I'm really surprised that, uh, that tail doesn't actually, like, trip me, you know? Oh, what the fuck? That was close to killing me. Jeez. Okay, here we go. I need to repair. I need to repair. Fuck you, D pad. Don't deselect my weapon. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, please go up in the air. Chug a couple down. There we go. I don't know what the hell it was doing up there. Oh, it's even destroying the columns up in the air. That's so cool. Ow. Some pro moves right there. Prepared my weapon. Okay. That was not a pro move.
This is actually going really well. Well, not really well, but it's going pretty well. Okay. Going pretty well. Don't jinx it, just stay the course. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Okay. Okay, I've got... Oh, shit, I need to do durability again! Oh, man, without that ring. Okay, now's the time to switch. I didn't see that coming. Shit. Okay, it's gonna have to be dragon charms for my healing from now on. Well, I might, my uh, dried roots actually might still be working, but they're not gonna do much. Aww. Oh no, fuck! The one time I don't want it to do that move. I think I'm dead. Fucking hell. I don't even know if I have enough repair powder left. Fuck, I need to use that ring. I need to use the ring that protects my equipment. It's, it's going down too fast. I thought maybe I'd only need two, but it looks like I need fucking four. And I need this poison bite ring. I can't ditch my stamina. I need my stamina. And I'm keeping my protection ring, so I guess I'm ditching my dragon ring, which is bad. That is bad. This is indeed a worthy boss. This is good. I like this. I hate this, but I like this. I'll be around if you make it back. I mean, strictly speaking, I don't actually need my life ring. That's just to protect my capital, I guess? <laughs> it's just to protect my souls. Other than that, it doesn't actually help me. And I am getting to the point where I don't have many souls left. Yeah, you know what? Fuck the Ring of Soul Protection. I don't really have a lot of souls to protect. Forget it. I'm gonna replace it. With the Brazing Knuckle Ring plus two. I mean, I'm gonna become hollow, of course, but I have plenty of effigies. So, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> Any tips that can help me? Other than go for the tail, which seemed to be a terrible tip. Horse ahead, therefore try defeat. That is the best tip ever. Yes, that it's a giant horse that spouts flame. There's a name for those, other than horse. Uh, what are they called? Flying horses with wings. I can't remember. It didn't even look like an attack, to be honest. It just looked like it turned. And that somehow hurt me, even though it didn't, like, stun me. I'm trying to go for its wing. Didn't work. Jesus. I just, I really want to see if I can trigger its flame thing. 
Because that would really be ideal. I think I need to be like a medium distance away. Hit something. I don't know what. Oh, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? That's a joke, right? Fuck you. your tail what is it even doing I can't even see it man I think what if I get behind it when it's facing me does that mess up its ability to like go at me I think it maybe it does yeah if I do this Oh, I get stepped on. That wasn't as unpleasant as you might think it would be. Yeah, that's actually not terrible. That's pretty terrible. Okay, I think I just learned a new tactic. When it goes up into the air, try to run behind it. it. It tends to step on me, but it doesn't do much damage, and it puts me in a pretty good spot to hit it. Nice, nice. Now I'm hollow. Question is, do I care to use he effigies? Yeah, I mean, I've got 22, whatever. I've already defeated the Darkling, dark spawn, whatever the hell it is, so I don't exactly need them. by the first attack and teleported that's a bad omen some of its attacks really don't look like attacks alright this gives me my opportunity to heal Yeah, that actually works really well, running towards it. Unless, of course, it's already charging you, in which case that'd be a terrible idea. Okay, get far away from it, go for its tail. Because even if you're at its back feet, you can get, you can get hit by that. I know. Ah, that really doesn't look like an attack. It, it doesn't really have a tell, but I can tell. Animation just bugged out. I really can't get very many hits on it. On its tail. Ah, oh, I couldn't dodge in time. It was impossible. Wow. I'm inside of you. Yeah. 
Yeah, if I get two hits there, I always get hit by it. I'm amazed I avoided that. I think it just had really bad aim, thankfully. Ooh, yes, thank you! I will gladly take that opportunity to hit you once, miss the second time, and then get hit. Oh, damn it! Oh, I knew that would happen. I saw it coming, but I couldn't avoid it. I need to repair my shit. Yeah, I need you to go into the air. Ah, oh, damn it. I guess I'll get this back. Okay, I need to repair my stuff. Okay. Okay, there we go. Nope. Let's try, Let's try this. Please, I hope I don't regret this. Pray! Pray like you've never prayed before! Fuck! Well, it made up for it. Actually, wow, that restored a lot of health. It's quite nice. It takes a long time, though. Fuck! Jesus, that was a fast turn. Woohoo! That was a fun ride. Thank you. Keep your arms and legs inside of the ride at all times. I am really surprised that did not kill me. All right, it's down to charms. Oh my god, look at how fucking low it is! Oh, oh, I can taste it! I can taste the victory! Oh no, side blast, I didn't expect that! Charm, 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 now's the time, now's the time, now's the time! Pray, fucking pray! It's okay, it's gonna make up, it's gonna make up for it. It's gonna heal me more than I lost. Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> oh, yeah. Soul of Sin. Sin. <laughs> the Slumbering Dragon. That was, uh... Well, I'm looking over at the timer, and it looks like that was an hour. Almost an hour of that one boss. Whew. That was a worthy end. I'm assuming end to this DLC. Fine work. Thank you. Fine work yourself if you survived that. Holy crap. Whew. I'm just going to bask in this wonderful... This wonderful colorful mist for a second. Ah... Crown of the Sunken King! Yup, that's gotta be the end. A faint heat lingers in the ancient crown. Hmm.
Can I put it on? Oh, look at it. Its protection is complete garbage, but that's not what a crown is for, is it? Crown of the sunken king who once ruled this land. The king erected the eternal sanctum below the earth to worship the great dragon. But the towering bulwark crumbled with the city shortly after the dragon's awakening. But these were events of long ago, and today, no one even remembers the king's name. Let's slip it on over our head. With the rest of my armor, that looks kind of goofy. But, eh, what the hell. I do believe that's it. Sadness. I'm not sad. I'm really happy. Oh, they met the dead person, didn't they? They did. The dead person. Yeah, I guess that's kind of sad. I'm too happy to care, though. Because I got myself a crown. Oh, yeah. Crown of a nameless king. So, yeah, there's no chambers connecting to this place, right? I don't believe there were any... Exits from this place that had fog over them that clear when you finish the boss. No. I wonder if that message of faint heat lingers in the crown meant something specific. Like, I wonder if that was a hint or something. Don't you dare, fatty. What? I mean, I'm thinking, like, is this crown going to gain me entrance to something? I don't know. Actually, I wonder if you need the crown to get to the next part of the, the next DLC. You know, are they completely separate? Or do you need each part to go on to the next? Hmm. One must wonder. I wonder what kind of equipment can be made from its soul. The soul of that dragon, and the soul of the other two bosses that I fought. I'm actually going to go check that out, so I'll be right back. Alright, so you can actually make some pretty cool stuff with those souls. Check this out. So, I know I defeated three bosses. The one that had like three separate people. Um... But when they had three separate people, I don't remember what that soul was called. And I can't actually find it, but I can find the other ones. So there's Soul of Alana, Squalid Queen, which I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's definitely the one I just fought, right? I think so. And then, of course, there's... The uh, Soul of Sin, the Slumbering Dragon, which makes Yorg's Spear. Which I believe is a thing that was actually kind of poking through it and embedded inside of the dragon. And from what I can tell, looking at the stats, these seem like some damn good weapons. And one of them is actually... Seems like it would be a decent weapon for me. Maybe. Because uh, this one, for the Squalid Queen, is actually a halberd. Amazingly, despite how big it was in her hands, it doesn't actually require that much strength. Uh, it does require quite a bit more dexterity than I have, though. My dexterity is 14. And it does seem like it wants some magic, too, unfortunately. But uh, nonetheless, I want to check this thing out. Come back again if you find another soul. That is beautiful. Look at that. Looks like it's a bit longer than this one, too. Oh, yeah. That is a disturbing and yet rather beautiful weapon. It's even got some blood on the tip. It comes pre-blooded. Cool. Ah. 
I believe it's said use the strong attack to unleash its true power. Yeah, use strong attack to unleash its latent power. When the abyss dissipated, the things that called it home were fragmented and scattered across the realm. Eventually, these pieces regained form in ways that hinted at humanity's true nature. That's me unleashing its true power. That's just the same attack as my other Albert. Maybe it's just because I can't use it effectively, it doesn't do whatever special thing it was going to do? I don't know. I feel like killing something with this. I'm gonna go smash something. I'm gonna go smash some spiders. Because no one likes spiders, so fuck them. Ah, right. It's ineffective, so it does like four damage. Shit. Can't use it. Damn it! Okay, that's a little bit more effective. And that spider's dumb and walking into a corner. Alright, well, that seems to be it. Yeah, uh, if I've missed anything, you know, significant, some areas or something like that, then let me know, but otherwise, I pr I'm pretty sure that's the end of it. And that was a good-sized DLC. I mean, what was that, like... Five hours, I think? Yeah, it was about five hours. Three bosses, all of them were uh, pretty good fights. Especially the last one, that was a really good fight. I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, good amount of challenge. Some uh, awesome level design. I really enjoyed that. And that's just one out of the three planned DLCs. So, I really look forward to see what they make next. Alright, so that has been Crown of the Sunken King. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next DLC, which is going to release in a little bit less than a month.